appointed the Batman. We did. When their enemies were at the gates, the Romans would suspend democracy and appoint one man to protect the city. And it wasn't considered an honor, it was considered a public service. Batman wears the mask of Bruce Wayne, an extroverted, eccentric, playboy billionaire guided by self-indulgence. The Bruce Wayne mask hides Batman's true introverted nature, a deeply introspective man who feels intensely and is self-sacrificing. People need dramatic examples to shake them out of apathy and I can't do that as Bruce Wayne. As a man, I'm flesh and blood, I can be ignored, I can be destroyed, but as a symbol, as a symbol, I can be incorruptible. I can be everlasting. What symbol? Something elemental, something terrifying. In this video, we're going to focus on two characteristics of Batman which we can draw valuable lessons from that are born from his introversion and inextricable from his identity as a silent guardian, a watchful protector, a dark knight. The first characteristic which Batman's introversion gives rise to is his emotional mastery. Batman has an elevated emotional sensitivity, which means he feels intensely. He experiences emotions such as sorrow, grief, anger and rage profoundly to the point it can be almost all-consuming. Many people with such a magnitude of emotional sensitivity but lacking the inner fortitude and self-control of Batman can find their lives enslaved by their emotions such that their emotions rule their actions. The thin, delicate line between what we feel and how we act is easily blurred and can have serious consequences for us and those we interact with. The renowned German philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche once said, whoever fights monsters should see to it that in the process he does not become a monster. And if you gaze long enough into an abyss, the abyss will gaze back into you. Batman's emotional mastery means that he empowers himself to feel every single emotion he experiences, letting them seep deep into his bones, the loss, the anger, the desire for vengeance, but he doesn't permit those dark emotions to dominate his decisions and actions. He has the emotional mastery to fight monsters without becoming one. Chiseled into Batman's constitution is his central principle of justice. However angry he feels, however much he's consumed by vengeance, he doesn't manifest these feelings in his actions if they mean compromising his idea of justice. Batman's supreme law, his first order, his primary commandment is that he does not kill but it would be a great fallacy to think that his veins don't flow with a desire for complete decimation of the most heinous of criminals that have harmed those closest to him and rain down destruction on his home, Gotham. But I have enough blood on my hands. And I've seen now what I would have to become to stop men like him. We witness the apex of Batman's emotional mastery when he's faced with a punishing choice as he charges to a literal head-on collision with his antithesis, the Joker. To kill or not to kill, the man responsible for so much mayhem and death in Gotham. Batman is the most human of all superheroes. He's a man, he bleeds, he suffers loss and he feels. We can relate to him in our reality, not just Gotham's. The lesson Batman teaches us is that it's okay to feel, it's human to simmer intense emotions. It's inevitable. We were created as sentient beings, but what we do with those emotions, how we direct them, and how they affect our actions should remain firmly within our domain of control. Batman teaches us that mastering your emotions is the polar opposite of being emotionless. Emotional mastery is constructed upon a reservoir of emotions and just like a dam, it requires unwavering self-discipline to control the pressure and release just the right measure of emotion to flow out into the world and influence our river of actions. We live in an age where there's a worryingly growing psychology of being indifferent and chastising the very human nature of feeling. Often, this gets confused with Stoic philosophy, but this offends the very ideals of Stoicism. The practical lesson here is that for those of us who are emotionally sensitive, embrace it, don't try to fight it, 
feel your emotions and then get to work in mastering them. Don't permit those emotions to guide your decisions, choices and actions in life, especially if you may live to regret them once those emotions have subsided a week, month or years from now. You may have recently gone through a difficult breakup in a relationship which you thought would last a lifetime. Perhaps you didn't get that promotion which for years you've worked tirelessly for night and day. Maybe you're struggling to pass that one exam, reliving the nightmare time after time or just can't get the grades at school you so desperately need no matter how much work you put in. Perhaps you've received life-changing news about your health or of a loved one or you're going through challenging financial difficulties. Whatever trials that may be on your plate now or you'll invariably go through in the future, they'll be served with a number of emotions which you can and must feel. Some will be overpowering and all-consuming and for many can lead down a long, lonely road of depression. It's in these moments when you're on the very precipice of despair or enthralled in a fireball of rage, you need to firmly grab hold of the reins of this wild beast of emotions and just like Batman, remember your principles and the values you live your life by and honour them. Control that anger, resentment and rage, harness its energy and redirect it into something meaningful to you. Mastering your emotions means first feeling them and then making a choice with all your willpower and self-discipline to choose the right action that's fueled by your life's own constitution and not your emotions. As Batman himself learns from the love of his life, The second characteristic is that Batman avoids the light and seeks the dark. He's altruistic, not egotistic. Batman doesn't seek the limelight. He has no desire for public recognition or gratitude. He's not motivated by glory or reputation. Batman has cultivated an almost complete immunity to the need for external validation or approval. I never said thank you. And you'll never have to. The remarkable consequence of this quality is that Batman's confidence emanates from a fire within which only he can extinguish. This self-assuredness gives Batman the authority to focus on what matters to him the most, regardless of the perceived value the society around him places on it. Batman isn't guided by what people think of him. He's prepared to be the outcast, condemned and hunted, making decisions that others are afraid to make. They'll hate you for it, but that's the point of Batman. He can be the outcast. He can make the choice that no one else can make. The right choice. One of the most natural yet insidious problems for man since the dawn of time has been how influenced we are by the opinions of others. Marcus Aurelius, the great Stoic Emperor of Rome, once said, It never ceases to amaze me. We all love ourselves more than other people, but care more about their opinion than our own. The reality is that it's impossible to never be affected by what other people think of you. It's in the DNA of the human race. We're a different species to the rest of the animals that roam this earth who live their entire existence unencumbered by their fellow creatures. However, we can strive to be more like Batman, where only the opinions and counsel of the selected few we choose can help guide our actions without letting anything permeate the foundations of our self-worth. When we cease prejudging every potential decision and action of ours through the lens of others, we give ourselves the freedom to become who we want to be and pursue what we find meaningful. Batman teaches us that when our actions are guided by what is meaningful to us, it's in our power to infuse them with excellence and the results of those actions will be indisputable. Whilst Batman operates in the shadows of the public spotlight and intends to fulfill his life's mission in the dark, he's ultimately recognised by the people of Gotham for his work and what he's achieved. The lesson we can learn from this paradox is that if we focus on what matters to us and what we value and find fulfilling, irrespective of what those around us think, and we undertake our mission with mastery, then inevitably the result of our work will prevail and its true value unmasked for those around us to eventually witness in awe. Perhaps you've wanted to pursue something that's thought of as unusual where you're from or the community you find yourself in, something that's not normal and you're told, 
that's not what we do. Maybe you want to start a business that lets you fulfill a dream, but everyone around you has already resigned you to failure. Perhaps you want to go back to school and for once learn something you have a passion for, or want to upskill yourself to provide a better future, but you're discouraged by those around you. Maybe you're already in school and actually enjoy studying, but you're having to endure the consequences of not being popular or thought of as uncool. Throughout our lives, we'll be faced with Batman-like choices. Do we make the choice that is right, push forward, jump off that ledge and soar towards our goals? Or do we step back onto well-established ground and return to a world dictated by what the popular opinion is? Always seek in the spotlight, put on your Batman suit, diligently work in the shadows, quietly smile when you think about how you spend your nights, look forward to the darkness so you can get to work whilst others obsess over being seen and moving towards the light. Over time, with resolve, patience and perseverance, not only will your ambitions become realised, but the results of your work will also ignite a fire so bright that people will flock to be enveloped in your light. The practical lesson here is pursue what you find meaningful and what drives you. Don't be rattled by what others may think and don't worry about whether your hard work is recognised. In the end, your accomplishments will be the source of your fulfilment and Spotlight will seek you. After all, Batman is the hero people experience but don't witness. Hello my quietly magnetic friends, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and received some value from it. If you did, please hit the like button and comment below to let the YouTube algorithm know. These videos can take me more than 60 hours to prepare as I research, script, record and edit everything myself. If you want to see more of these videos, I invite you to subscribe to this channel. It will be a pleasure to have you as part of this growing community. Thanks for watching.